The next thing we're going to do is just group parts of this shirt together. So I'm going to group the cuff and the sleeve. Just using your black arrow, marquee over the sections that you want to group. So I'm grouping the lines, the shoulder line, the dart line, bust dart and waist dart together. And then I won't do anything over there, I won't group that. I'm going to select everything now and I want to reflect it. I'm going to use my reflect tool. So underneath the rotate is the reflect tool. Can you see here the reflect fulcrum sits over there? If I haven't touched anything, I haven't moved anything, I just move my mouse to the anchor at the center front neck and click once to move that fulcrum. And now I click onto that shape and start dragging. And only once I'm dragging do I press ALT and SHIFT. So both ALT will, co Alt will copy and SHIFT will drag it in a straight line. You can see how I have the double arrow showing. Let go of the mouse first, then let go of ALT and SHIFT. Because it's a woman's shirt, when we're looking at it on screen, the left side goes over the right. Obviously when it's worn on the body it is right over left. Arrange center back. But what I do have to do here is bring my collar full to the front. So now what I'm going to do is actually finish this shirt off. What I'd like is to fold my sleeve forward to the front. To do that, I'm going to go to the Line Segment tool and I'm going to make a cut. Now it's best to actually have a completely vertical cut. It just makes it so much easier for the next move that we're going to do. So selecting the Line Segment tool, so forward slash, hold Shift and drag down to create a straight line. It's drawn a line without a fill. And now the next thing that we're going to do is to select that sleeve and the line and go to our Shape Builder tool. And in Shape Builder I'm just going to put another colour into the fill. And do you see how it shades the area that I'm resting on? What I'm going to do here is click onto that sleeve and what I've done is I've actually cut that sleeve in two. I want to delete the overhang so if I press ALT as you can see there and click onto the overhang you can see how the overhang turns red and there's a minus sign next to the arrow this means that I'm going to delete that section. Zooming out same on the other side ALT DELETE Zooming out again, I will ungroup that because what I want to do is to select just the bottom half of that sleeve and I want to reflect it. So back to my reflect tool, I'm going to put my reflect fulcrum on that anchor and hold shift this time, not alt, to reflect that sleeve. And now I can actually do the back detail of the cuff. So I'm going to make a copy of the cuff, edit copy, edit paste in front. I'm going to make that a little shorter and what I might do is put a little bit of a mitre on that cuff. I'm adding an anchor point, adding an anchor point and deleting an anchor point. And there we have the mitre and then the next thing for me to do is to add that placket. I think the easiest way to do this would be once again just to draw a rectangle. The next thing that I'm going to do is I want to just add a little bit of a point over there. So I'll just go to my add anchor point tool 
and just using my eye I'm going to line up that anchor point with the center of that square so let's just check that yes that's in line direct selection and holding shift I just move that up a little bit shift will move it up in a straight line and I might actually make that placard a little shorter I just marqueed with my direct selection over the two bottom anchor points and I'm holding shift using my selection tool I line up the one anchor point with the other anchor point rotate rotate fulcrum over there and move that up so you see how when I rest it on the line it shows up that line and then I can rotate it in place the best thing you could do now is select the cuff the bottom of the shirt the placket and group them essentially we have now finished the front of that shirt I won't add buttons just yet I will go on to create the back